Okay, so if a times b is greater than zero, and all that tells us is that, um, that neither of them is zero, does uh, the quantity a minus two times the quantity b minus two equal four? We can multiply that out and probably should. So a minus two times b minus two equals four. So this is a b minus two a minus two b uh, plus four equals four. We can subtract the four from both sides. So then we have uh, a b minus two a minus two b equals zero. So, and that's actually what we're asking, is that is that what that equals? Let's take a look at the statements. Statement one tells us that 2a plus 2b equals ab. This looks a lot like what we actually kind of got down here. Let's um, actually get ab over, ab is already on one side of the equation. If we subtract 2a from both sides and then subtract 2b from both sides, we get actually 0 equals ab minus 2a and minus 2b, which is exactly the equation that we had originally. Statement one is enough to confirm, yes, that is what it equals. We get rid of b as well as each of the two insufficient answer choices. Statement two telling us that uh, a equals b, um, we'd have to try some values out to see whether that's right. So for example, if a equals b equals four, then a minus two will be um, two and b minus two will be 2, and that'll equal 4, for sure. However, um, if, if we change it even a little bit, let's just say a equals b equals 1, um, a minus 2 equals negative 1, um, and b minus 2 equals negative 1, those two, two, those two times each other equal 1, not 4. So, uh, since the answer is it depends on what you pick for A and B, statement two is not reliable and not sufficient. Therefore, statement one alone, answer choice A, is the one.